Right. I am Nick at Nima Studios, we're at Dean's Barry Potter Bolton Toy Fair, and you're watching Blue Harvest Toys. Good morning. Nice day, look at that. The sun's in the sky. Sunday morning, we're off to Bolton Toy Fair. Um, I'm down in Clicky and I've got a Starbucks. We've got a Subway, got a Greg's. What should we have? Um, we're meeting Andy from Excel System in. I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to sit down over here and wait for him. So, see you in a bit in Bolton. With the sun shining. That's good, actually, oh, look at that for a shot. God, you think I were a bloody YouTuber or something? Look at that. <laughs> so we're here, look at this. Look who's here with us. Stop filming. Stop filming and tell us your channel. Excelsior's domain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in, let's buy some expensive toys. Let me at it, let me at it, let me at it. Let me at it. Oh. Right. Hey, just take the bolts out of that one. Can you smell them? Yeah, some good yellow lint. the age of now. I think you can smell them. This has not changed one little bit. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice, actually. It's very shiny. Yeah. I've got one, but I've got one without the skate. One of the skis. Oh, okay. So, oh, that I love that place. Care. I bet it's a job lot. This is just exactly the same as I remember it um, last time I came. Of every time I've been, <laughs> it's like the same same vendors. All those Daleks. Fantastic. Yep, the boxes, the displays. Yeah, the uh, containers are all exactly the same. These are brilliant cabinets. Ooh. Oh, I'm dropping. Wow. Oh, wow. 
be looking evil out there. <laughs> Six million dollar one, Mark Amindi. Oh wow. Fighting Furies in the box. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's got the wide wheels as well, that's pretty cool. I bet he's eating. I bet he's eating. See, he's here. No, you want this way. No, you have not Sorry. He would dress differently. Is that in my life? That's staying in. Yeah, I am that much more. This is the best stall <laughs> in Bolton. <laughs> it's the best stall on these two tables. Yeah. James Bond. Uh, have an eagle. Mm. Very nice. Three phone calls. Ooh, plenty of necker. Oh, Gremlin's thirty five. Oh, that's what they got. The family. 
Oh, it's got arms around Come back. That's the thing confused. Yeah. Think you think guy. Oh, here's where I'm going to spend my money, I think. There's a, there's a red wheel Batmobile. You all right? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've watched a few of your videos before. I've seen a few videos before on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yeah, pretty good. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Cheers. There's one on eBay at the moment, 900 quid. Yeah, I, I can imagine. But well, that's in really good good, good condition, that isn't it? Is it's mint. The one on yeah, it. yeah, that's how I will look. <laughs> yeah. Is the uh, is the is that a proper red wheel? Not a reconditioned. No. That's good. How much? You have to tell, do you? Go on. Well, the fins are shorter. Yeah. The red bat symbols are thinner. Underneath, it says Batman, Batman, <laughs> yeah. not. Not the, but, uh, yeah. No. Um, they only did it in 73. Yeah. So there has to be a 73 base. Yeah. What's unusual about that one is it's clear screens. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I thought that's a bit uh, unusual. Let's have a quick scan. How much is that? Not three hundred. That's good. That's a good price. The aerials chopped it. Yeah, but you know it is what it is. Yeah. Oh God, no, that's not, not a problem, is it? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to back copter, have you? <laughs> John Knox bought it off me at Doncaster. Oh, that was interesting. I could spend all day on that style thing. But I can't. So much to see. Mendham's. Right. <laughs> Right. Oh, it's like Grand Theft Auto. So, five main calendars. So, I just spent fifty five. <laughs> Oh, I'm my toothbrush. Is that a wrist race? Batman wrist race? I didn't know they did Batman wrist race. Oh, we've got a... Oh, oh. That's nice. There you go, Robin. Oh, cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not that I was a kid. Oh, look. More ball action come out. A bit of XH figure out, sir. Yeah, my draft came up. Cheers, cool. thank you. Seventy pounds. Wow. Oh well, I'll put some in. Right, I'll try and get you I'll try and see you can see. I've had that try and hold on. Next time I'll bring something a bit more. Well, I'll I'll see next time, if you give me one of these, message yeah. me and I'll show you a bit of what I've got. I might not bring it all, but if you say, oh yeah, bring that. Yeah. Uh, I'm more you say what well, I will do, as I said, like, original Star Wars, I can negotiate with that. And then, um, obviously, try a logo, rarer one. You'll be here at the Christmas one, won't you? What day is it? 29th. Right, well, I'll message you. Do you want me inbox you on Thursday? Message me today, like, round about the 20th of the December. All right. All right. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah. If you get any joys, I'm always interested in joys. No, R2D2. Okay. See you later. Okay. See you later. R2D2. I might look at that seven and nine when I come back round. Ooh. I go. Trains, trains, cars, trains and cars, trains and cars, trains and cars, trains and cars. Funk up all. Hot wheels. Oh, look. Not exactly what I want, but it's a Star Trek model. Yeah. Oh, we've got the Enterprise over there. Try and get. It's a bit narrow, is this aisle? Oh, we've got a bit of uh, action force. I like it. I like it. <laughs> 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 I'm going to think about that. <laughs> I am uh, wanting to get the Enterprise. I want to get the Reliant, but I want the Enterprise as well. Thank you. 
China. China. Oh, that job is set. I forgot the clock. Yeah, a little slave layer. Thank you. Got brown now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that would be honest a great goal. Dreams. I am struggling with the camera by the way. Um, if you think it's just moving all over, it is. Um, so I've got my microphone strapped to it. It does move around somewhat, right. Trains, trains, trains. Get the trains out of the way. There's just too much to see. There you go, Haslop. Oh, no. oh, oh. How much is that rider? Eighty and ninety. They're both together. <coughs> Eighty. Allowing ninety. Ninety. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's brilliant. Kid lights up as well. Oh, fantastic! Cheers. There he is, look. Better now. I don't want to know how much is in that bag. <sighs> Look at these. Giraffes. Oh. I see more Star Trek. <coughs> Yeah, it's a chase, it's only fun, I think. What all I got today? Ah, oh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. What all I got today? These are nice. They're nice, nice seals. Pelt of cellophane. 
<laughs> nice. A oh, Hot Wheels? Always a lot of Hot Wheels. Always. Oh, oh, Lego? Oh, sir. Lots of Lego. Done. Thank you. Oh, Groot's there. That's cheap at 40. Very cheap at 40. Hmm. Love you. Oh, you could do it. Oh, God. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't keep it, but many more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do it. Cool. I saw it. You took my tea bag already. Yeah. You can have it back now. There's a chocolate with you. It's good. And John sometimes whips him out for walk. Yeah. They've often walked, believe it or not, he's been a bit nappy. Thank God. It's a fair step, yeah. Yeah, it's a good Retarded. Saying to a guy that's with me from Scotland, he's popped down. Yeah. Um, one on. Once upon a time, it was a reason we Yeah, I didn't realise it was a deal. I thought I don't know. Yeah, so I don't realise I was going to park again. I've got How much is the car? Do you know what I'm doing? It's price 45. Nowadays, it's on the computer. Stop that. Stop yeah. that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
worked. It works. How, battery did it. Yeah. how much is it? 15. 15. I had it, I had it, I remember having it. Yeah. It's I brilliant. Shame I didn't keep the packaging, but. Yeah. yeah. No, because it came in a, a blister, didn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah. You take card? Yeah. Take card? Yeah, I do, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that then, please. That's a bit work. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's some, something else I've bought. Oh, I went to 2000. Nice. I don't know if it's got its tracks, I don't know if it's not got its tracks, has it? No. Bullet, I've got a bullet car. What are those enterprises about? <laughs> but that's a bigger model. That is if the 650, I think, I don't know, 537, I think it is. It's too big. It's too buckle. Cool. That's what she said. Oh, that's got a missile. That's got a missile. Got two missiles. How much is that? Five each. Um, you take card. Card. Huh? You take card, card. Yes. Yes, right. I'll take. I'll take those two then. They are supposed to go together. So. Yeah. <laughs> so very busy. Oh, action marks, oh, man. What's the action, man? I was a salesman for 42 years, sales manager. I retired two years Wide. ago. Six months ago, they asked me to come back and do driving from the service customers because they do a lot of click and collect. Yeah, yeah. Especially when people ask for traffic to die. So customers don't want to get out, so they won't pick the cars up and bring them in. Oh, six million dollar man. <laughs> Lots of action men. Lots of old men. <laughs> oh, look at these. This operations tent, field commander. Oh, Steve. Oh, look at that. These are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. As Roger Marlock, his grey face. So we've got. Ooh. Jamie Summers. Metal man. Oh, I've got a metal man. I like this. I like. I like this. Bone raker, Roger Marlock. Not so greys. Not so grey. This is good. <laughs> oh, he's got no hair. Where's my guy? Oh. Shaman body parts. Oh, Lone Ranger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't like these uh, these matchbox ones. Wellington, look at that. <laughs> That's the original Enterprise. Oh, you quit. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Island 160, nice. I'm um, sorry for the volume's a bit different. Uh, I've just had to change over from my phone <laughs> recording um, because my gimbal's just given up the course. It is lovely. 
That was just a rapid transport. It's not been crappy. Cyberpunk. You know that it's Cyberpunk cars. This is actually easier to film with. A lot easier to film with. Catalogs will really like a nice catalogue. Nice matchbox, we're not after matchbox today. We're after Corgi. Yeah. Uh, phone calls. Phone calls, phone calls, and more phone calls, more cars, more hot wheels. <laughs> Lots of hot wheels. You know, I've not seen one back copter. Um, not one back copter. I'm not going through all these. No hot wheels. Oh God. I'm just going to uh, go around film. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have another look round. <laughs> See if there's anything we can find. I know what I'm looking for, I just haven't seen anything that I've been wanting. Yet. Movie baby. Right. in a box over there which I might have a look at in a minute when I go back around there oh, that's nice I don't like that Up this side, I'll go down the other side. No, but the oh, did Roger have any? Oh, that's the original model. Did, uh, did Roger bring any die cuts with him? Yeah, I'll go back down here. 
Yeah, it's six. I'm not feeling hot. I'm not feeling. Wow. Job. Ah, oh, so we're back. We're back from Bolton. Thank you to Andy for taking me there and bringing me back. I had a brilliant day. Nice talking to him. Nice to meet him, actually. Um, obviously, met Gareth there as well. Well, didn't meet him there. He was actually had a stall there, as you saw. We saw it there. Um, so, this is what I actually did get. Um, I'll show you what I did get. Um, it has been a few years since I've been to the Bolton Toy Fair. I don't do Toy Fairs that often because I can't get to them if I could get to them I'd be doing them all the time I've done them every week whatever um, I don't I, the last, I think the last toy fair I did was the Doncaster one just after Christmas um, so that was last year so I'm, this is the first one this year first first, first ball it's funny though I saw the saying though we walked as I walked into the bottom toy fair it was exactly the same it was the same stall holders this not the same stock. Well, it might have been. Um, <laughs> this it was the same same stock, style holders, and it was just it just brought all memories back. I I have um, I've been there a few times, and I have actually had a stall there myself, so I know it pretty well. Um, yeah, we've got we've actually got two bags. We've actually got two bags. Um, so Gareth was having a go at me because I was shoving them all in the bag. And uh, all right. Anyway, right, so I did, I did, I did buy um, this, yes, um, I'm going to, I'll show you, I will show you, um, it's so bad, it's good, I had to get it, I, I actually used to have the action jacks back as a kid, and I didn't have these, but, um, it's in such a good condition. The box is in such a good condition. I wait till you see the little figure. <laughs> uh, these, um, they've got a good articulation though. They've got really good arch articulation. Uh, it fits in the Jeep and it's got a little backpack as well. But yeah, he's um, got his little backpack. It's, it was in so, such good condition and it just brought back so many memories and I bought it just just for the nostalgia like i said i didn't get these but i got the action jacks i I would love to get some action jacks if anybody knows any action jacks let me know but that is just it's matchbox end of the day uh well they were, they were trying to diversify into other things weren't they? they did but into the fighting furies and things like that you know so yeah so that has actually it's funny because the person I bought it off actually had this on eBay because uh, I was searching for the values of it and how many were going and things like that. And um, the little the little sticker at the top, the little price sticker there, whatever it is, a little price sticker, I think it is. Um, it was the same one, so he's taking it off now. But I've put one, I've put it on. So if you if you if you're interested in that. That's um, that's gone up there. Um, I did I did go intending to get certain items. Um, as I've told before, I want to get the the Corgi Junior James Bond, and <laughs> I kind of did find one of the things I wanted. Uh, it was the horse box, the the Range Rover horse box. And the little plane was actually inside. It did have, it did have a, uh, a price tag of £55. But it was in a £40 box. So I was waiting for him to come over so I could say, is it 45 Is it 45 But I noticed as I was looking at it, the little, the, the, the false horse at the back, tail was broken off. So I thought, I'd have to get another trailer. So do I want to pay 40 Well, at least 40 Maybe fifty-five pound for something that 
Yes, I would have. I would if I if I'd have seen it first, I probably would have bought it. But um, I know I can get the trailer pretty cheap. Uh, it's that little plane inside. So it, that plane's probably it was probably worth forty pound by itself. But I left it. I as I always say, try and be patient with thing you want. I try and get them as cheap as possible. <laughs> but I did get something James Bond. Now, this is from 1991. Na 1991, I think. Obviously, Corgi. Not you don't see this box very often. So Gareth said to me, "Do you, are you are you collecting all the different variants of it?" I might do. It might be a thing. Might be a thing getting all the Aston Martins. But I, I just I just thought the box. Um, it's got the little. James Bond is actually black. It's a black James Bond in there. That's the first. Uh, <laughs> and the brown, the the passenger is brown. You got a little badge as well, but this is actually uh, a Mattel when uh, Mattel owned Corgi, and it does say Corgi Toys 1991 Corgi Toys Limited Leicester. I never knew. Corgi was actually in Leicester at one point. I wonder if it was the old Palatoy factory. I don't know. I could do with finding that out. Is um, the bit of damage on the on the case in there? But yeah, that is absolutely fantastic to get that variant of that box. And yes, I might be looking at getting all the different box variants of the Aston Mine. There are there are a few. I uh, will be doing a video on the Corg James Bond Corgi cars. Simply because um, there's a lot of them, and I'm going to probably maybe two parts, three parts. The first part will be obviously 63, 64, up until 83, I think. Maybe, maybe a bit later. Anyway, into the 80s, and then part two will be the modern when he went to China. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go there. Um, next up, we've got. A 25th anniversary Konami Star Trek, and I'll turn it on. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and get it in the light so you can see it. There we go. And what you do, what you've got to do is the Klingon bird of prey comes in, and you've got to put the shields around where the four torpedoes are firing at you. I was quite good at this, I had this as a kid. I was quite good at it. Um, maybe not as... Yeah, not as good now. <laughs> and it does. I know it goes into red alert at one point. I'm playing it now. It's a bit like... Um, these four torpedoes are just too fast. It's a bit like um, Black Breakout. Oops, and then we're gonna we're gonna blow up. So there, it, it, it's it's not. It used to be really good, probably not as good now. But it's so cool. Um, I remember going to Red Alert and things like that. I just, I somehow thought remembered it as a Enterprise D, and it's not. It's the refit. Um, the original refit, which is my favourite ship. So I'll be doing. I am doing. Going to do a model on that. I uh, stay tuned for that. This, uh, I think I'm. I'm trying to get the Reliant and the Enterprise. So I don't want to get it six fifty scale, five, five three seven scale. I want to. I would love to have, but I'm not, not the space. So I want to get the uh, one thousand. So it's, it's, it's not too big, it's not too big, might be about that big, um, but I'm trying to get the Aztecs for it, which is, it's a bit of a ball egg, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, just random stuff in here, just a lot, I got a lot of stuff, but it's all for my collection. Uh, the Knight Rider, I'm going to go on my Knight Rider shelf, original scale electric, it's got the scale electric thing, Knight Rider, loose. So I had to get that. I think I paid ten pound for it. It's, it says twelve, but I think I paid, 12, paid ten. So I got a job lot together. 
And there's another thing that I was looking for. Well, not really looking for, but something I want to get back again is the Gay Ellis uh, UFO figure, which I, sat, I, I stupidly sold. Um, but they're going for like four or five hundred pounds. And I sold one for someone was selling one hundred and forty. And the guy that I've bought this job lot off offered it to me for hundred. So. There's the reasons why I, I had a budget and there's the reasons why I um, don't want to spend too much and that will come apparently in the next, hopefully in the next next few weeks. Right next up, we've had this before. I've restored one of these, um, the UFO Interceptor, but this was £35 and it's in really good condition. A lot of better condition that I uh, refurbish the last one. The the the, the skis are perfect. They're not bent. They're beautiful. Um, the stickers, the original stickers are there. There there is there's some um, on the chrome work which I can easily do. I can easily just get my chrome pen and re re chrome that very very easily. Um, it could do with touching up. There's a few little scratches there, but. I've got the I've got the correct paint for that colour. Now, do I want to do it? I probably will. I'll probably just touch it up. Um, I do have um, a backing card for this as well, so this might go on eBay. So, if you're interested in that, let me know before I put it up. But it does come with the original missile. Now, the last one I had, a 3D printed one, and it was good and it fired. But this has got the rubber tip. This is an official proper, I can feel the rubber on that and these do shoot out pretty, pretty well. And the, there's no, there's nowhere on the guy, he's, he's not loose in there. The last one I did was loose, but that is outstanding. I might have to keep it. I might have to get a stupid price to get rid of that. Because that is, uh, I, I have a big thing about UFO at the moment and that might have to stay with my TV and film lot. Even though it's dinky, not corgi, it's dinky. That is probably one of the best things that dinky did. They did the Thunderbird 2 obviously, but yeah, that is just so cool. Yes, obviously, um, like we did with the Thunderbird 2, the painted it blue as, as well as the green. That was white in the show. I must I think he must have had a job lot of green paint or um, <laughs> there must have been a sale on green paint um, for them to paint it green. Apparently, apparently, they didn't paint the fun about too green because they thought green kids wouldn't buy a green ship and then they painted this green. Go figure. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, we've got another dinky item. I did get two. I'll give one of these to the characters. So. Because he deserves it. Right, so we've got a little police box. Now, it's not Doctor Who, but it is Doctor Who, isn't it? It is Doctor Who, but it's not Doctor Who. This predates Doctor Who. As far as I know, I'm sure it does. But it is dinky and it's metal and it's hollow inside. But that is going to go on my Doctor Who shelf, not my dinky shelf. I've got a dinky shelf as well. It's cocky dinky. Um, <laughs> so that's going to go on the Doctor Who shelf. That's East Doctor Who. Um, penultimately, we did, well, not penultimate, we've got another bag in this, in this bag anyway. You know how much I love Adventure 2000? Um, I looked at these and I noticed it had the the missile which I have been looking for. I was thinking about 3D printing but I thought no I'm going to see if I can find some first. Now I said he had nearly all of them and I said how much are these? I said about oh, five quid. But he had these separately so I had to spend I had to pay ten pound to get the one ship because that is one thing and most of the dealers don't know that. Most of the dealers don't know that. I don't know why but um this is this is in really good condition as well. It's probably in better condition than mine. It has uh, it has one tread missing. It only has one tread, but obviously I've got two treads from the other one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make some match, and I think I'll keep this one 
simply because it does have two missiles and it has the little thing at the back where you put your missiles. You're supposed to put your missiles in there. But that is just in such a good condition. I'll be keeping that. And I say I'll mix and match and see what goes and probably sell the other one. Um, it does need a bit of a clean, a bit of a bit of a groove there. Where this, that is, yeah, easily done. Get a get a Q-tip in there, be fine. And it does stay. It does stay in there. We <laughs> still normally don't do the because you you press you press that button. There's a button there. And it really flies off. It's pretty cool. All these Avengers 2000 I've done videos of, and you you probably like them. Um, I'm just happy that I've got the ones with the missiles now. Absolutely brilliant. Well, really worthwhile going. So um, this this is the last bit for this bag. Throw the bag on the floor. Now, um, I did buy this. I, it, you, the, the guy that gives me the intro at the beginning of this video sells these custom figures. And you know me, not just go for these things, but and I did say that I would uh, I would shot Gareth, and he was like, "You, <laughs> yes." How the duck? This 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 method, bear me madness, right? I am going, hopefully, um, ninety percent going anyway. Um, to sci-fi, all for sci-fi is it? I think it's called. This in Manchester in December. Now Leah Thompson is signing there. Gonna get her to sign that. I'm sure she'll like that. Um, I want to get a, a signed for, and she's she's only thirty five forty pound, which is quite cheap. You must admit for a for a, a signature these days. I think there's only one uh, signer that's that's over a hundred pound. Um, all the rest are very cheap. Mm. Um, Homelander, I definitely want to get Homelander and Cal Kestis as well. So there's there's actually three. Signatures I want to get, and maybe two, and maybe get a picture of uh, Mary Thompson as well. Maybe get a picture of her with me, and ah, uh, no, you've got to pay for those separately, but maybe I can get a selfie with her, you know. You know, um, but I tell you what, what I, what, I, what I noticed about these, first off, is the card. The cards, it's, it's, look at that, it's just, so there's so much quality in there so much quality i will leave in the description if i remember probably will um a link to the guy's uh shop website um if you check cosmic toys's videos out he actually does an interview with him when he was last at the bolton toy fair uh, so check that out as well. I will link that as well. And um, yeah, just look at uh, look at their quality. That's fantastic. Just fantastic work. There's there's so many different ones there I could have chosen. Lots of Ewoks and things like that. But I just thought that get this, get it signed. So right, um, definitely this is a penultimate thing now. Uh, I was, I am, as you said, as you know, I'm collecting Corgi TV film related cars. I, <laughs> I stupidly spent all my cash. I, I had eighty pound in cash. And I thought I'll, I'll, I was going to get a budget. And I thought um, I spent the most of cash. I think I had about ten pound, five pound left in my pocket when I saw some things that I wanted, and I, I had to go find a cash machine. There wasn't one. But the guy on, the Barry Potter guy uh, at the entrance said, how much do you want? And I said, and he says, well, I'll give you the money if you, if you you know, scan your card and blah, blah, blah. So I got I got the money off him. And on the way for there, I saw some Corgi cars. And one that I really, really specifically wanted, I wanted for a while. And I said, how much is that? He says, oh, 20 quid. I went, save me it. <laughs> so I got a Blues Brothers, a Blues Mobile. I got a blues mobile, twenty pound, twenty pound sealed in box. Well, as as well sealed as Corgis are. Um, there's this little um, the mirrors, side mirrors, are underneath, 
but we got Jake and Elwood figures with the Bluesmobile. And it does show on the back um, Knight Rider, which I do want a box. I've got I've got a loose Knight Rider, but I want a box Knight Rider. That's the next thing I probably need. A bullet, which I've got um, a small version of um, the Black Beauty, here, which I'm not really bothered about. The 18 van, which would be quite nice to get. I've got a couple of 18 vans, but I would like to get the Corgi one and the DeLorean, which I've just got. So, I think I've got the Corgi cars that I need now. I need to get the old ones, the vintage ones. So yes, that is the next thing. I am kind of running out of space already on the Corgi. The Corgi shelf has been expanded, but I've run <laughs> out of space on that. Um, but the last thing, um, Andy, Excelsior. Excelsior's domain, check check that. I'll link that as well. I'll, I'll put that um, on the, um, in the description. And yes, um, not really, really something I would have probably bought, but because there was a, the, I'm looking to do some models. I'm looking, I'm looking to, obviously the, I've said the Enterprise and the Reliant, but um, hi, I saw there was a Klingon, there was there was a DeLorean, which the original model DeLorean from the night I think the the, the late eighties, early nineties. About 90, they brought some out. I think it was AMT. And they had one, and I was like, there was no price on it. So I thought, I'm not, I thought, you know, just, I think I saw it in the, I sh you showed it in the video, but I was, but I thought, no, I'm not going to, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll wait. I should have bought it because it's, it is the original, but I don't, I don't want to build it. And so, Andy dragged me over to this stall where there was a fab one. Now it's not a vintage one. Um, I don't know what year it is, but it's 92. It says 1992. It does have a barcode, so you know it's not vintage. Um, but the thing is, it does say on the side uh, features. This kit can be motorized with uh, FA 130 motor. Motors and batteries are not included. Now it does have uh, all the all the bits you need in here. Not really had a good look at this, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's it might not be complete, but it, it will be. Um, now, I am, I am considering building this, but I don't know if I want to pass it on to somebody else that might want to build it. Because there's all the, all the connections, things like that. Um, there's actually some glow in there as well. They put some glow in as well. Um, but the thing is, Oh, there's the gears. There's the gears as well that, that uh, where you can put the motor in. But there's a motor as well. There's a proper motor, the correct motor, because that goes in there, like that. Oh, it, oh, it should go in there. It does go in there. Um, but all it needs, all it needs is uh, connecting up, and it'll be motorized. So. If anybody's interested in building this, if you want to, I'm, I think I'm going to put it on. I am going to put it on eBay. I know, I know you think oh, you're putting everything on eBay. No, but I think, I think, um, I would, I would like to do it. But it's one of those kits where you think, you know, what, what would you do with it when you've built it? It's motorized. It's going to be motorized, and it is 1992. I thought it was a bit later, so it is almost, almost vintage, almost vintage. It's from a Lansing, West Sussex, Commerce Way, Amarang. Um, so if anybody's interested in that, again, let me know. So uh, apart from that, I know it's been a long, it's been a long video. I might just split into two. And it's been a, a long look at what I did get and what a great day I had with Andy and with Gareth. And um, hopefully we'll do some more. We need to do some more. We definitely do. So go check out Cosmic Toys. Go check out Excelsior's Domain. I have just got the Lego Attack. So I've got that to build as well. As well as sorting all this stuff out. So I'm going to go do that now. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to watch me build a, a, a very large attack or what, see what happens with any of these. I'll keep you updated. Please like the video too. Please do like the video because I need as many likes. I'm getting a few dislikes because, um, yeah, for reasons. <laughs> I won't go into that. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Miller Toys. Be with you. charge eating a meal a succulent chinese meal <laughs> ah yeah well, i'm steve and i have a friend tony in the store and think it was my star wars and go over the country to say this how he's going to my hand um, when he's errand boy <laughs> and uh just the fair here and um the potter's doing a really good job and recommend it and we'll be uh, we'll way down south in a couple of weeks I'm going to say welcome to Bottom Toy Fair. Welcome to Bottom Toy Fair and you're watching Blue Avis Toys. Yeah, welcome to Bottom Toy Fair and you're watching Blue Avis Toys. It's currently filming me. Please, YouTube video. Brilliant.